First, I would like to thank you for your cooperation. In our exchange, I am looking for sustainable life strategies. What comes in mind when you hear the expression crossing the threshold? Yeah, I think art is crossing the borders. Life is crossing the borders. And art is a tool uh, that you experience reality through it. Do you share the opinion that many people today are insecure due to the strong cultural and social changes in the world? Okay. So, I, I can understand this, uh, but I don't feel the same because I think I'm part of this generation that's born into this changing world all the time. So it's not make me insecure. Uh, I'm really used to that and I think if we are, we'll be able to get used to that changing all the time, we will be much more bigger and stable in front of all of this, all of this change. Oh. Um, nice to hear. Do you make an inner correlation between fear and not feeling connected to others or the world? No, there is not a correlation. <laughs> I thought about it a lot yesterday, about fear, because I think it's part of being a creator uh, to, to experience fear and I think it's an invitation to see what stage now I need to cross. Like if there is fear there, so there is something interesting there. It's not my comfort zone. So maybe I need to go there, what's fear me. And maybe it will surprise me like it's Fear and crossing threshold, it's like, it's, it's the same road, I think. Please describe your artistic creative process. I feel that what I try to develop is observation. And when I see something that touched me, I don't need answer. I just need to observe it. And maybe when I'm observing it, I feel like I experience different kind of time. Maybe more stretch, maybe eternity and temporality together. I don't know, but I think I'm not so uh, rational in the beginning of the process. I'm just starting from stuff that interested me, like. I don't know, this time was this illustration. Uh, other time it can be really beautiful view. And then when I'm trying to uh, make act inside, then I understand what is really interesting me. What's the point? Yeah, but I need to be inside in order to understand or I need to feel first. And I think it's not like there is a lot of methods, but my method is to be in the unknown in order to know and then after I know it's kind of make me tired so I try to and it's like you know it's like a witchcraft there is no logic like there is this magic that happens is there any experience in your life which opens you to this art practice <laughs> I didn't experience much nature and when I was studying art, uh, I was collecting a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, National Geographic magazine and encyclopedias. And I just started to cut and paste my own world, my imaginary world that are really like taking all this order and making it a new order or new way of cataloging. And then I decided that my body is also can be a material. I think I'm like an, an. I have this microcosmic world that I'm the researcher, but then in order to really, really be in this world, I'm also the. Uh, the I'm also research myself. It's part of the substance. Mm -hmm. 
If an artist only focuses on themselves and their artwork, are they acting irresponsible or even destructive towards the rest that life has to offer? If so, do they have to? Can they avoid this behavior? Wow, I think it's really complex, this answer for that. Because I think there is certain people that are really in this world to do their art and they cannot be interrupted by something else. But it's kind of romantic view of them. And I, my approach is not getting close to them. <laughs> How do you prepare yourself for your artistic process? I'm really scared about uh, taking the meditation and say this is an art practice because the meditation will lose her power. Like I see meditation as something bigger or different yeah. that yeah makes me be like better in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Can a creative art practice help to create methods for a healthy and positive life? Do you have the longing to heal a kind of rift between and in us and that you do it not only for yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I really long for that. I, I'm thinking that my art should reach this level that she is really uh, enable a place to sit and talk or to meet. And not only to look about on the art in the gallery, like on the walls, I, I really want it will be a connection to me. Yeah, yeah. I still don't know how, but I'm on my way. <laughs> Does an artist have a certain responsibility for the world because of his possibilities and special abilities? When I read this question, I was really like, I don't think I need to... Um, Answer. <laughs> uh, no, I don't need to save the world. Mm -hmm. I think it's too big and it may, will make my art really bad. I don't believe about art that's trying to save everyone. Everyone has this responsibility. And yeah, do it what you're doing the best.